Hey everyone, it's Tango Oscar Mike, uh, Tom, uh, N3WS. I am out here on the back patio real quick, just a really quick video. I got the extension cables for the solar panel. These are 10 gauge, 20 foot long uh, extension cable, uh, extension wires for the solar panel. Um, I, I probably could have got 10 foot and if I had to do it over, I probably would get 10 foot because uh, I think of it. But there may be times when I need to go a little bit further. But I wanted to see if what the power loss would be. And in the user guide for this, there is a chart that kind of tells you what gauge wire you should be using. Uh, in this little case is my 12 amp hour BioNO 12 uh, amp hour battery, which I completely drained. And, and then I hooked up the solar panel. Uh, you can see my charge controller. And then I built my little toroid wrap there that I'm going to keep permanently on there. It's all zip tied on there. Um, so that will all stay, this will all stay together. It doesn't quite all fit in the zippered case. It's a little too big. So the 10 foot cables would probably fit in there. I crammed them in there, but it's really tight. And I think it's, I, I'd be, I'm afraid it's going to stretch the pocket out. So, but right now, we are getting 5.5 amps, and I actually saw this go up as high as 6.3 this morning. So no voltage loss with the, with the big, thick, heavy cables. If you remember, when I used 14-gauge wire, I saw a significant voltage drop. So it's supposed to rain this afternoon, but I'm just trying to... I just wanted to recharge this battery, give those cables a try and make sure that everything is working fine. Again, 10 foot cables might've been plenty, but there might be times when I need to, when I want to have to get the solar panel um, much further away. So that's why I went with the 20 foot. But yeah, so far uh, somebody made a comment uh, about, uh, hey, there's no solar controller. And this is a bare bones panel. Some panels have a little US a little block on it with USB ports and um, and maybe a charge controller for a laptop, but not for charging a battery like this. This is just a bare bones solar panel. Renogy makes one um, as well. And I was actually looking into Renogy too, but you know, we have a Harbor Freight nearby. They were having a sale and I went and got this one. I, I really am glad I got the 100 watt I don't think I needed to get the 200 watt, which is a bit heavier, um, twice the size. This, this is already, uh, I think this is going to work out great for everything I do. And again, we have pretty bright sun right now. And I'm pulling 5.5. You can see 5.5, 5.6 here. Yeah, 5.5. So that battery should recharge in no time. Like I said, pretty happy with that purchase. Um, I think it's going to work out great. And the, the cables are going to help out if I need to get the panel out in the sun and I can stay in the shade. So just a quick update.